Hello people, and welcome back to finally another reaction video. And in today's video, I am going to be reacting to an extra long video for not making a reaction video in forever. And to celebrate this occasion, I've got Starlight Glimmer right here, a nice McDonald's toy. Uh, so let's get into this, and it is called Analyst Ponies React to MLP Season 5 Finale. And I'm going to scoot a little bit closer to the mic so that you guys can actually hear my comments that I have to say about the video. Just so, um, unlike my other videos, just so you guys can just hear me. Alright, let's get into this video. Three, two, one. Season finale, and line. you guys know what that means, am I right? Transformation? Well, first things first, I still need to get dressed for the occasion now, don't I? Yes, you do. So, here right. we go. Do it! <laughs> Anime transformation? Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't this Sailor Moon? Let's get ready, the verse. Yeah! There you go, Why? that's better. There you go, nice jeans. Huh, I haven't seen this scarf look before in a while. For, eh, ever, actually. I should <laughs> really stop with those girly transformations. <laughs> Alright, season I had to finale listen time! You know, I think I could get used to being to these little reacts here from time to time. I mean, the last one I was a part of, I had a real blast recording for it and all that. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I think it could give me a little uh, more ample environment to show my creativity in. Yeah. I can see this having no drawbacks whatsoever. You got mail. Ooh, email. Yay. Dun, dun, dun. You both, uh, hold on, hold on. You both will be. <laughs> 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 Dr. Wolf. Oh my goodness, the hair on this thing goes everywhere. So we really hey, the two react couple. to this at Pacific Pony Con, but uh <laughs> some unfortunate circumstances happen. Yeah. Sprung ankle, falling off stages, crutches giving you bad sores around the armpit. Anyway, let's oh, react okay. to this finale. Well, it's certainly been an event. It's in private, good to see you. CMC's got their cutie marks. 100th episode, they defeated Starlight Glimmer. Yeah, it was I crazy. Think we've earned a nice, relaxing season finale. Alright, let's do it. Some pony had told me when I was a blank blank. <gasps> Twilight! <laughs> do not use racial slurs around your fellow students! <laughs> one day I'd give a speech to a class Hold of Celestia School of. Hold on, guys, I'm gonna get myself water. Alright, ready to go. Actually, I might get into the spirit of things. Alright, ready to go. I wouldn't have believed it. If some bony hey, told me if I was a blank blank that I was going to do this one very oddly specific thing, I wouldn't have believed them. I don't know, Spike. I'd like to be able to get through the whole speech without looking at the cards. Really? The master of learning everything is not able to memorize a short speech? Yeah, exactly. I call uh, bullshit on that one. Yeah, so do I. Oh, Twilight <laughs> Sparkle. Still adorkable and still needing all the flashcards. Yes, this is. episode is already completely off the rails. There is no way Twilight wouldn't have her cue cards in perfect order. True. Completely ruined. Worst episode of the season. <laughs> that was even better than the first 11 times. <laughs> ah, perfect representation of an actual graduation speech. True. <laughs> Nobody gives a flying fuck about it but your parents. <laughs> he has to be. <sighs> Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Exactly. When Princess Celestia asks me. Kill me. Oh, poor Spike. He is forever the world's whipping dog. I exactly. say just how much I appreciate how patient and understanding Spike is considering everything that Twilight has put him through over the years. Yeah. Today, I was honored. 
Ah, grow a pair, Spike. At least it's not as bad as Twilight growing boobs and singing half-assed lyrics about friendship. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> I actually have a point. I think that's the right Hey, Cell! We don't know who Kitty Marks work either! Stop trying to figure it out! My little poem. <laughs> Friendship is lampshading. <clears throat> Next slide, please. Spike? Number one Moon assistant, dancer. everybody! <laughs> Moon Dancer! Mm -hmm. In an adorable sweater and her broken glasses. Ah, uh, Moon Dancer. Still never got rid of that ugly as hell sweater. Oh, hey, come on. Spike, better be careful. His entire job here can be replaced by PowerPoint at any given moment. Yeah. Why does he even have this picture? <laughs> Where exactly did Twilight get these images? I yeah. mean, there wasn't anyone with a camera around, obviously. So apparently, Equestria does not have PowerPoint, but it does have Photoshop. Without Rainbow Dash's race yeah. to defend Fluttershy's honor, this rain boom wouldn't have happened. Uh, no. Without M.A. Larson writing her to race to defend Fluttershy's honor, the rain boom wouldn't have happened. True. Oh, I am your god. Bring me your unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> we will make her an alicorn. The starlight is a spy. Hello, <laughs> starlight woman. And goodbye, Starlight Glimmer. Starlight, what are you doing there out in the open, not hiding behind any bushes or menus for a change? So there's no yeah. hiding in bushes or behind menus. She just <laughs> plainly doesn't care anymore, just right yeah. out in the open. Yeah. I know we're supposed to focus on the fact that Starlight is in the crowd, but I'm more surprised that Jet Set and Neon Lights are advanced magic students. Wait, Starlight Glimmer was a thing? But, yeah. um... The real question about cutie mark magic is... Anyway, back to this discussion about all of my weaknesses and how I can be easily defeated in battle. Forcing every pony in her village to have the same cutie mark wasn't right. Hey, that sounds just like the Catholic Church. True. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Everybody shut up. Stop yelling at the today. Uh, or she was just really interested in your speech. What? I died. You faced off again. Demigods like uh, Discord and, and, and Nightmare Moon and yeah. who are afraid of the revenge of You faced off literally against King Sombra. I'm pretty sure you would be able to defeat this girl right here, Starlight. My camera's freaking inverted whenever I do the Starlight. Sorry, Starlight. Your worst story. Okay, though. I'm just kidding. I'm going to the worst villain. Boo! <laughs> One unicorn? Like, like, shaking knees? Afraid of? But as long as I have my friends, I know yeah. everything will be alright. What could possibly go wrong? At least it's not raining and can't get any worse. Oh, no, 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 Twilight. You already jinxed the season finale two seasons ago mm -hmm. with your, uh, and I know for absolute certain. Everything is okay, you know, it just now <laughs> hit me, and I'm surprised nobody has ever called this out yet, but why does Twilight Sparkle, the newly declared princess of friendship, why doesn't she have any bodyguards that go with her everywhere she yeah. goes? Yeah! I mean... We have Celestia's, Luna's, Cadence's, mm -hmm. along with her husband, and insert movie soundtrack by Queen here. <laughs> and Twilight just has Spike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that, it does sound kind of silly. Or, or it's totally, totally true. true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Starlight, have you just been sitting there this whole time? Also, Twilight leaving your gigantic castle completely unguarded, not a great tactical. No. This moment has been brought to you by God Damn It Spike, the Photoshop <laughs> version of God Damn It Ross. Exactly. Remember, if anything bad ever happens in Equestria, God Damn It Spike. Or it could have just been because the castle doesn't have any locks or security or guards whatsoever. Okay, I just need to pause and say Dual Stator is my favorite is my favorite person in this entire thing. He's Awesome, he's hilarious. And if you hear some pitter pattering um up on my rooftop, um it's raining outside, so sorry if 
if you guys can even hear that. It's very light, but you guys probably can't hear it. But let's get back to this. I might funnier. This is a look of somebody who has more than one eighth up their sleeves. Yes. Not even wearing sleeves at Michigan is even more impressive. <laughs> Welcome to my secret lair, Mr. Bond. Yes. Well, I tell you, <laughs> but I don't want to ruin the surprise. Thank you! I can't tell you how happy I am that they're going against this cliché. Bad guy rule number one, guys. Never tell your secret plans to anyone. Ever! Got a point. I am amazed <laughs> that as great a villain as Starlight Glimmer is, she doesn't need to monologue. She goes right into her evil plan. Mm-hmm. Hey! Som Somber did the same thing. He... Has, bro. DHX didn't give him any lines. Everybody blames him. Blame Hasbro. He Lily Pete actually made a very good um th thing to say it, that if Sombra hadn't if 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 Shining Armor ha well this is actually a point that I have if Shining Armor didn't come up with the idea to throw Cadence. And if Cadence wasn't okay with it, the Crystal Empire would have totally been screwed. And people say that, the ponies say that Spike saved the Crystal Empire. Really, it was Shining Armor that saved the Crystal Empire. He was the person who got, who got Cadence up on his shoulders and threw him to the Crystal, and threw her to the Crystal Heart. He is the person who saved the Crystal Empire, because he threw, because he's the one who threw Cadence over the over the side of the castle. Stupid idea, by the way. And do, do you guys see what I'm coming from? Let's just get back to this. Starlight has committed the ultimate crime: littering. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's the It's the forecast. No, this is fine. <laughs> this is probably all fine. Yeah. You know, this <laughs> is twice Dr. now. Hell. Twilight could have stopped Starlight if she just would have not done magic and resort to just punching her in the face. Yeah. Starlight doesn't even need to levitate herself into the vortex. She could just be pulled up by her massive weave. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's gone forever. Problem solved. Yay. I guess we could start with this. Spike, no! Don't touch that! And then he picks it up. Spike, you're responding. God damn it, Spike! <laughs> this is why the universe hates you, Spike. You keep destroying it. Oh, yep. no. He was just gone! Why can't you be happy that the villain is gone? Just let it be! And Twilight realized... This was going to be the worst party ever. <laughs> you know, this is just like an actual workplace. Mm -hmm. If a customer doesn't pick up their food, it's all fair game. Yeah. Snooze, you lose. <laughs> true, man. True. Shimmy, shimmy, shuck. Shimmy, shimmy, shake. How many time travel jokes can we make? Can we even get just a few seconds of the Doctor Who theme when Twilight and Spike are traveling through time? Still needs a <laughs> little something. <laughs> Dun 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 Look out! You might crash into Dr. Hoops and assist that! Oh! 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 reference! I'm very disappointed in all of you! Still look like a time bubble. Obvious Doctor Who Warp Speed Warp Drive 2001 A Space Odyssey Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure Equestria Girls 1 Time Squad and Back to the Future reference is obvious. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> she changed her her uh, headband. Her All right, headband. wings. Yeah, wings. All right, no wings. Clouds, Dale. That's a wonderful oh, no, 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 no. So the one of a licket. Go back. And Back to the Future reference is obvious. That's better. All right, wings. <laughs> All right, no wings. Okay, pay attention to this brony, to this pony right here. Am I the only brony who thinks that it looks very similar? Here, let me go. Let me go to Google Images. Am 
Am I the only one who thinks that this that th that this pony right here looks sort of similar to Digibronies OC? Please tell me I'm not the only one. Please tell me what is this? What is this? <laughs> Oh, but I, I don't know why. It's just I've always sort of felt like that's Digibronies OC. I'm sorry, that's probably stupid. But... Wow. Hey, what is this? This is the Wonderbolt Academy. Yes. So the Wonderbolt Academy is part of Cloudstair, but Cloudstair moves around. The Wonderbolt Academy is on top of a hill. Ah! Yeah. You traveled back in time to when Rainbow Dash raced the bullies who made fun of Fluttershy and performed her first Sonic Rainbow? Continuity! Only Star Swirl the Bearded could do something like that. And even his spell just went back a week. Yeah, Spike. We live in a world uh -huh. of magic. You have to... Rationally. If you guys get this reference, I love it. Oh my god, did you see that horrendous yeah, scene in the background? We live in a world of magic. Any Holy crap, did you see that horrendous OC in the background? This spell just went back a week. Yeah, Spike, we live in a world of magic. You have to I like think her, how her bandana well, keeps to changing. To be fair, uh, Star Swirl also made that spell that, uh, you know, changed Pony's Destiny that yeah. you didn't finish, that you perfected. And now that there's this time travel spell that uh, Starlight's perfected, Maybe Star Swirl isn't that great of a wizard. Yeah. Well, considering the security... It was kind of expressed inside the comics. Go read the Mirror comic. It is amazing! The uh, Star Swirl's wing, where all those spells were uh, stored, head back in It's About Time. I wouldn't say I'm too surprised that somebody managed to steal it. Let's go! Go where? To watch the race. I don't want to miss the rainbow. But shouldn't we try and find Starlight first and stop her before she alters the future? We watch race! <laughs> God damn it, Spike! Yes! <laughs> we clouds, Dale. Shouldn't Spike be, you know, falling through the clouds? Wait, since when is Spike capable of walking on clouds? This is kind of like... <laughs> exactly. <sighs> Little baby Rainbow Dash is always so adorable. Yes, it is! No, Twilight, you let her die. <gasps> oh my god, Fluttershy fell! She's doomed! Uh, you do realize she's a Pegasus, right? Um, hello, it's Fluttershy. You know damn well her wings are about as useless as a limp dick. Okay, yeah, that's true, you have a point. But what should we do then? Call the Wonderbolts? No, that's an even worse idea. They're just a stunt show and only... Kinda, sorta, not really military! They're not True. qualified yet! Okay, that makes no goddamn sense, but I'll agree with you <laughs> just for the sake of the joke, so what should we do then? Let's just sit here like idiots until someone actually does something! <laughs> we are horrible poems. Yes, yes. Yes, we are. We are. <laughs> for just a couple of seconds, but isn't it great seeing Spike keeping Twilight in check and trying- He has perfect job ones, by the way to uh, break the Prime Directive, so to speak. No, Twilight. Spike is completely right. When you are time traveling to the past, you should always consider the butterfly effect. Don't try to rescue anybody who is supposed to fall to their doom. This is kind of morbid, isn't it? I mean, it could also be that Twilight actually needs to be there to, for example, send a swarm of butterflies to save uh, Fluttershy. So maybe she is actually supposed to save her. In that case, she just doomed Everybody by not saving Fluttershy. Wow, thank you. Well, if you think it's hold it's sorry, guys, sorry, guys, sorry, guys. It's not real. I wonder how much of this is uh completely did not mean to go to full screen though. If you think about it, if Twilight just caught Fluttershy and then just put her down steadily on the ground, Fluttershy still would have technically discovered the animals. Well, actually, no, that's not true because the butterflies would never have saved her. Butterfly effect. And how much is reused from uh, the uh, Sonic Rainboom episode? Yeah. You know, if they redid this entire scene just for this, you know what? Kudos, that's awesome. <laughs> Self levitation? <laughs> I like how all the animals just completely abandoned her for no apparent reason. Yeah. Like, okay, bored now. Bye. Okay, the rest of the main yeah. six I can understand, but why is it that the animals suddenly just leave Fluttershy because yeah. there was no Sonic Rainbow? Exactly. That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, well, you probably 
actually stop one of the main characters from being born. Yay! So, yeah. Yay! Good job, Starlight. Also, yes. should some Twilight <laughs> not be an alicorn anymore because none of that ever happened and the timeline got screwed up and Bad so Munch can she also make never that. would have met Celestia and she never would have done all that stuff and then she never would have became an alicorn and he's like, okay. Yeah. She paints it as a mad rat. Well, we better figure it out before it's too late. Um, Twilight, I think it already is. Yeah. No joke, whenever the castle disappeared, I was just like... Starlight did one good thing. She got rid of that ugly as hell toy placement. Yes! Also, why is there a lake back there? <laughs> was there always a lake back there? Sunset Shimmer managed to remove the ugly old castle! It's amazing! She's best pony now! I don't think yeah. Twilight and the main six not being friends would completely change where there is and is not a lake. Well, now the boys got their wish. No more place that castle. Yeah! Twilight, it didn't have that big of an issue. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad of a design. I liked it. Yeah, so did I. But no more of it! Yay! Yeah. Everything's different. <laughs> Look, the map doesn't even make sense anymore. It's Civilization Five MLP edition. Uh, to be yes. honest, this map never made sense to me anyways. It actually looks like those uh, background drawings from uh, Fallout Equestria. Yeah. Literally the trotting dead right now. Oh! Oh! Yes, he made a reference to it. Yes! about this twilight really only now to be fair this was kind of how ponyville looked a lot in season one and two i know spike but this is ponyville how bad can things be why exactly <laughs> at sugar cake corner i just noticed was there always a loaf of bread on there or did it just completely turn into a bread market because it's got bread right here and bread right here i always remember there being a cupcake and a cupcake on that sign or a piece of cake. Who? Wait a minute. What is this? Is this a signature? This little thing that have my mouse cursor on. Is this a signature? <laughs> Twilight, do you ever get tired of immediately being proven wrong? Yes. I said I said it in the plain bread instead of the cake and the icing and everything. Yeah, I know. Looks it. like Sugar Cube Corner is feeling very a loaf with itself. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Really key. Ready? You've got to appreciate this little guy's priorities. I mean, it's like the one person I care about. Everybody else can screw themselves. Exactly. Okay, if Rarity didn't break open the rock and discover the gems, she wouldn't have found her talent that way. Would she still have been a fashionista? But I know one place that could never change. The funny thing is, whenever I first watch these episodes, I always look past the actual realism, and then as soon as I watch a Bronies react to the episode that I really like, I sort of start to dislike it, like because because of the realizations that they make that I never even made. Thank you, Bronies react, and I analyst Bronies react. Thank you very much. <laughs> In the Apple Factory. Ah, uh, try it. You and your jinxing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet Apple Acres just turned into New Jersey. Cue the most generic factory music and cartoons ever made. This reminds me of those old Warner Brothers cartoons like dum 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 What can I do for you? It's so good to see you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> going about this. <coughs> oh, man. Way Applejack. This is how you properly react. <laughs> also, the hairnets on the yes. tails is adorable. You know, I may be just silly, but if an alicorn came up to me and said they knew my name, I would believe anything she says. Crazy, right? Yeah. 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 How does no Sonic Rainbow means Applejack staying in Manhattan? If you guys have seen the Animal Spawners Reactor Friendship Games, 
do you think that that Will and Key made it back to Equestria? If you guys haven't watched Animal Sports Interactive the Friendship Games, then you won't get the then you won't get the thing that I'm trying to make. But in it, it actually it actually showed them like in their pony forms and then them being turned into humans. So they're still humans in this. So does that mean that they never went back to the world of Equestria? <laughs> Leads to Applejack returning to the farm because it's her home, which was her. Inside, she, she got from seeing the rainbow. But who in tarnation is Pinky Ball and Flutter Dash? Don't even think about it. Well, Come on, it's cute as shit. <laughs> in the future, there's this thing called Tumblr. Honestly, yeah. The only name I recognize is Rarity, but she left her main hat. Rarity Jack. So did you. Because the war against. Oh, yeah. Yes, you did, Kingdom Hearts Chronicles. Umbra and the Crystal Empire. What? Say what? And Celestia wants you. Come with me. I'll prove it. Get over here. <laughs> this is why you don't talk to strangers, kids, especially those with wings. There's also supposed to be a castle that goes with it. Yeah, but we are not too um, sad about the castle being not there anymore. For some reason, yeah. the map's here, but everything else is different. Different how? Well, like there are rivers and places that there didn't used to be. Yeah. There's a big man in red. Oh no, the Lord of Darkness has returned. Gentlemen, you know what to do. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! It didn't take long for him to force every one of his subjects to fight for him against Equestria. Yay! We actually get to see King Sombra do something! Hey. Once again, if this is completely brand new and not reused, props. So he recruits ponies and turns them into Stormtrooper KISS members? Yes! <laughs> I'm okay with this. Yes, Isn't I'm actually... I don't know... Creepy and dark, and I like it. Also, this armor is the coolest damn thing I have Thank ever you. seen. That is freaking metal. The question is, are these suits of armor, especially with the green eyes, meant to display a sort of mind control on all of these little ponies? In the grim dark future of Equestria, there is only war. If you listen <laughs> very carefully, you can hear somewhere in the distance. You <laughs> Freaking SWAT uniforms! Look at them! It's it, they're a pony SWAT team. This exactly. is awesome. Bam. Still not a great talker, now is he? Also, is this a mechanical wing she has there? Also, look at all that epic battle damage Rainbow Dash has. Cut off her ear. Her wing is go her wing is gone. I you know, know for kids. Yeah, for kids, you know. A pony getting her ear almost chopped completely off and her wing getting chopped completely off. You know, for kids. Does the rainbow do stuff look awesome? Oh! <laughs> oh, and this scene with Pinky and Maud, that's just so cool. I love this. I freaking love this. I love everything about this. I'm so happy. <laughs> so much. It doesn't matter how many times I see that scene. The Pie Sisters suddenly breaking the boulder together is just both hilarious and awesome. Yes. That is awesome! I love this world's Pinkie Pie! I mean, no, there was absolutely nothing wrong with Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie is absolutely perfect exactly the way she is! Absolutely no negatives! Who could possibly say anything bad about Pinkie Pie? Who respected their comment section? <laughs> the main, the ear thing, the wing, and the... the, the modern Pinkie like... <laughs> Can we kind of fix the timeline to not having a war, but keeping this rainbow dash? Yeah. Can we stop the episode right here and focus the show from now on on this? Yes, please. Wow, our very first instance of an equestrian war. I mean, look at what we got here. We have Rainbow Dash with a prosthetic wing, a badass duo of Maud and Pinky smashing boulders, 
Celestia yeah. looking so distraught, like she doesn't want to fight, but she knows that she has to. Yeah. And the rest of Equestria looking like a World War II film. All this amazing stuff that's going on before us. Yet the actual battle is just everyone slap fighting. Hey, stop <laughs> it! Stop it! I'm gonna tell Mom! <laughs> Not so you give us back <laughs> crystals, you stole! Yeah, well, you're stupid! <laughs> no, you're stupid! You're stupid! <laughs> uh, okay, the fighting itself is a little bit like... <laughs> you know, this one shot is absolutely terrifying once you think about it. The entire Sombra timeline is a giant World War One and World War Two X feed. Yeah. And showing the mares, stallions, and even foals getting on a train to go to war in what is basically a draft and a practical suicide mission is heart wrenching. Not because you know what's implied. And look, Doc is going to war. Freaking Amethyst is going to war. Lyra is going to war. But that's. It's happened before. In real life. <laughs> That's a little intense for a family show, isn't it? Yeah. Not My Little Pony. Yeah. My Little Pony. Industrialism is magic. How are you <laughs> such things right? I don't know. I couldn't wait for AJ to get out of earshot, huh? Nobody's even written a book yet on how to stop all this anarchy and set things right. No! Oh! Now my book's telling me how to do stuff! <laughs> no! Fine, that's it! The map is connected to the Tree of Harmony. We can dig up the tree and hit Starlight with it. Yes! I just use Starlight's version of the spell and go back a little earlier and stop her before she even knows we're there. Also, do you realize how many Doctor Who episodes could be solved in 15 minutes if they could do this exact thing? Yeah. All we have to do now is find Starlight and... All right, next up, Miss Glimmer. Please explain your evil plan to the class. Okay, I take it back. Starlight Glimmer is monologuing. She's got this, like, prepared speech about how evil Twilight is compared to her. How inevitable her destruction is. How the world will soon be hers. I knew you'd try to stop me. You're so predictable. Why else would I leave the scroll behind? Touching it triggered the map to lift you here and watch me erase the one thing that linked you with your friend. Clever girl. I can relate to her not existing modesty. Yeah. Also, I'm still fascinated by the self levitation. I yeah, so am I. love this. It is so great how throwing away that map and having them touch it is actually a major part of making this spell work. Yeah. That it wasn't just a piece of villain stupidity like Haha, i don't need this plot device anymore here you go she's she's really like wow impressive because for, for a unicorn and also twilight's expression in this very scene is like priceless village was a sanctuary of equality where no pony's cutie mark allowed them to feel superior except for me i was superior and that's why it was great and you and your friends took it away right <laughs> Okay, now, I really feel like I want to take this cutie mark off and just replace it with a black equal sign. I can get um, a Sharpie marker and literally just paint and literally just draw an equal sign on her flank. I really want to do that. Right after this video, I'm doing that. Turn to take some... <laughs> Peppers. That was great. The the comedic timing on that was great. Yeah. But holy crap, she makes a good villain. Yeah, she she does, man. Oh, by the way, Sarah, um, aka uh, Pony Crystal, I, I was just kidding whenever I said that um, Starlight was um best villain. I honestly think she's fourth best villain behind T-Rex. You didn't think of doing that before if it could be done so easily. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, keep your eyes peeled. Whoops. Right. Given her past experiences with stakeouts, she should look out for random falling pianos. And uh, cross side Pegasi. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> yes. I start to start time 2626. Well, it 
kind of already is because Fluttershy is apparently not falling to the ground. What's going on? <laughs> uh, these kids do realize they're in the presence of royalty, right? Yeah. The only royalty in Equestria are alicorns, right? They should be bowing. You have an alicorn princess in front of you and you're not bowing down before exactly. your majesty. <laughs> I mean, I don't care if they haven't seen her before. Alicorn Princess Royalty, bow down! Exactly! Bow the fuck down! Yeah! God, fucking Manhattan Syndrome. Yeah. I'm just reminding these two cults how hurtful teasing can be. Well, don't. What? Huh? Ah, Starlight Glimmer, you nag. How dare you be nice to children? You tell her Twilight, bullying is the answer. Yes! The trial level time travel question of do we kill Hitler? I mean, to save the future, do we condone bullying? Oh, isn't yes. it a shame we don't live in a world where every pony is equal? No one would ever tease anyone there. Wouldn't that be nice? What did I say earlier about? Can I honestly just say how adorable I think young, young, um, Fluttershy is? I just think there's something completely adorable about her. I don't know what it is. I think it's the cute eyes. I think I've always is an amazing villain. She is insanely manipulative and just so unapologetically Starlight evil. Starlight Glimmer confirmed oh, for just asshole. <laughs> uh, why is he looking at her like that? Oh God, the impl- I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that photo flake. I'm gonna get that plot. <laughs> Don't interfere, Twilight. Don't interfere, Twilight. Don't interfere. God damn it! <laughs> I think we did it fly fast enough for a sonic rainbow. What? I can't do that. No pony can. Baby Rainbow's adorable voice cracks. Yeah. Wait, are you an alicorn? <gasps> Somebody noticed! Yes! I'm not. I've seen you do it! In the future! <laughs> 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 that is creepy. And that is why Twilight <laughs> is no longer allowed within 50 feet of foals. Don't take a yep. lily from the pony rainbow. Okay, suddenly everything is just getting really loud. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, and why? <laughs> and why? And why? Can I just say how hilarious A and Y can be? Frick, why do I keep going to full screen? I don't mean to do that, sorry. Failing! The very line! That didn't work. Right after... A time... What the hell is up with him? Yeah. He's just having one of his fanfiction fanboy freakout moments. Let him go, he'll tire himself right. out eventually. Yeah. Or a direct reference to a hard reset. You know oh. what this is? <laughs> Going to all these different worlds, all these different realities, but always appearing at the uh, same time. This is Sliders. <gasps> it's our greatest fear. The world has been taken over. By avatars. No. These guys. These guys. Pinky. <laughs> Fluttershy. Silence. Change ring. All servants of Queen Chrysalis found in these woods must be destroyed. AKA killed. Oh, somebody's grown a pair of ovaries. Okay, she may have had a lot of development yeah. for season five, but that's pretty intense for Fluttershy to say, don't you think? My Little Pony. Murder is magic. Yay. <laughs> yes, this is pretty much my reaction to a Twilight. Ugh. Okay, I'm sorry, I gotta derail again. This is another trope that I really, really fucking hate. When someone declares someone else needs to be destroyed, why can't they ever just say kill? There is 
nothing wrong with saying the word kill for God's sake. Exactly. Destroying something would be like demolishing a building or a robot or something. Yeah. You can't actually destroy a person. I don't care if it sounds less threatening for kids. You're holding a goddamn spear to their necks with the intent of beheading them. Therefore, you kill them. Previously on As the Pony Turns. Never the series of Christmas would do anything to see their evil schemes. And I, for one, welcome our new changeling overlords. Yay. If they are changelings, we'll soon see. Whoa! Why, Sakura, you look different. Do yeah. you have to compensate for something with that mook, Sakura? Oh, oh. What's it mean? Uh, apparently that the time-traveling spell is radioactive? Radioactive! <laughs> but my friends and I stopped her. Um, no. Cadence and Shining Armor are the ones that defeated Chrysalis. You guys got your asses kicked. Yeah. However, it could be because of the fact if it wasn't for the rain boom, Twilight would have never became Celestia's protege. Thus, she would have never gotten a high-profile pony like Princess Cadence to be her babysitter. And thus, Shining Armor and Cadence would have never met and conspired the events that would have caused the first Cantalot wedding. But this is the second time I've come back, oh, and this world is even worse than the last one. Molestation by Twilight plus teaching bullies not to bully equals changeling invasion. While holding rainbow in place equals somber returning. Time travel is really complicated. Yes, it is. Please, you have to help us. Rarity's hair is messed up. No! Well, hello, Chrissy. Those cheese legs. <laughs> oh, good. I didn't have to read the IDW comic books after all. Don't glare at me like that. <laughs> Don't glare at me like that. Kiss, 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 kiss. Why does Chrysalis sound different? And as queen of the changelings, it is up to me to find food for my subjects. What a lovely village you've chosen. What the hell's up with her voice? Isn't it supposed to be distorted? I do not like it. I don't like it either. I like it. I don't like it one bit. This is the first time that the name Chrysalis has actually been mentioned in the show, by the way. By far, this is the most intriguing characterization for Zakora in the entire series. I hope we get to see more of this in the future. Stay quietly to the dungeons of Canterlot, and I promise to leave the others alone. Even if there's a chance Chrysalis will honor her word, shouldn't you try? Wow, Twilight! Way to give up right off the bat, you freaking coward! Twilight, <laughs> how dare you give into fear? We do not negotiate with terrorists here. Whoa! Oh, okay, now this is a fight I can get behind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 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 wait, what are you doing? No, wait, 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 come on, come on, come on. Go back to the fight, go back to the fight. I want to see. I no! I want to see the fight. Go, go back to the fight, go back to the fight. <laughs> no! Go back to the fight. Oh, bitch. <laughs> back to the future. Past. Back to the future, too. Yes. Oh, you silly girl. Don't bring a unicorn to an alicorn fight. <sighs> I don't think that's how clouds work. Okay, I'm having some trouble. Okay. Oh, I was apparently incredibly wrong. He should have gotten Starlight to fight Tyrik. Yeah. Quick, Twilight, use those children as shields. <laughs> <laughs> you have to finish your race. No way. This is way more exciting. Yeah, screw the honor of protecting my friends. Uh, nothing brings people together <laughs> yeah. like violence. Why would the map bring us back to a different time of day than when we left? Ah, it's night time. Does that mean something? I'm, I'm the only per I'm, the, I'm the only one who thinks these are extremely well animated visuals of My Little Pony. These are the most well animated things in the entire show. I'm obsessed. Wannabe world ruler. Yeah, I can't think of any. Look how I'm smooth sure they everything move. is fine. I wonder which alternative future that might be. Okay. It's time for the best world. Oh, maybe we record. should figure it out later. Hi, Timberwolves. <laughs> you look better animated. <laughs> yeah, as if CGI was ever a necessity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? 
I'm being a dick, aren't I? Whoa, they actually improved on the animation for the Timberwolves. Nice. I love what she's done with the place. The decor is very soothing. And the outfits, sublime. I recall Nightmare Rarity looking a little bit different. Yeah, that may. I don't socialize with dragons. I don't know any pony who would. Racist! Typical speciesism. Whoa! <laughs> this is a friend zone 2.0. Oh. I'm in the friend zone. I have to get back to the map so I can stop Starlight from changing its hat. Because every present I come to- Am I the only one who thinks that Rarity looks extremely similar to a princess? Like this? The you shut your filthy mouth, Twilight! This person is great! Did Twilight just rhyme when she was talking to Rarity? Is that like a lingering effect of talking to Zakora earlier? Okay, so this is supposed to be the worst of the three timelines we've seen so far. Apparently there's tourism because ponies are going about their everyday lives to the point where they can visit the castle that there's tourist hours. There's no war. Yeah. There's apparently vegetation if the Everfree Forest is still alive, and ponies can eat and not be malnourished. Question? Yes. How are the plants and food even growing in the first place with no sunlight or photosynthesis? Don't even think about it. I could honestly go into a complete scientific explanation, but I don't want to do that in this video, because that'll take at least 20 minutes. Magic. Spells. That still counts as magic. No! Incantation. No. I mean, no. you know, really, <laughs> who are we to say that Twilight's future is the best one? Time to travel, you say. <laughs> Look at who is back and who is looking good in black. Princess asked you a question, and unless you want to end up in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry, but I've noticed every present they go to, they make Rainbow Dash look even more lesbian than the last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright lost narrator, do not steal. Wait. It's been the season of uh, new yeah. main styles for the main <laughs> six. Even me! Yay! No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't take Nightmare Moon seriously when her evil laughs just keep sounding goofier and goofier. Yeah. <laughs> My sister has been imprisoned in the moon for years. Yeah, suck it, Celestia. It doesn't make much sense. Trying to escape. Screw Spike, we can also care less. It would be very unfortunate for your friend. Guys, give Spike a break. Damn, yeah. Nightmare, you are <laughs> scary. <laughs> Damn, she just nuked that Timberwolf. <laughs> it's official. Nightmare Moon is best princess. So exactly how are Timberwolves threatening if all they're made of is wood? Splinters. Splinters! Ah! No. <laughs> no. All right, Luna World's gone. I'm done. Bye. See you, Cane Crib. Uh, all right. Fine. Finish the episode. <laughs> You know, T-Rex future kind of looks exactly the same as what already happened. That could honestly be the same universe. Yeah. So, <laughs> Nightmare Moon plunged the world into eternal night. Chrysalis caused everyone to retreat into the Everfree. Mm -hmm. And Sombra caused World War II. And yet, Tarek is able to cause nothing but just mindless destruction. And to think that he used to be my favorite villain. Tarek. Blowing shit up his magic. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have to give her that. <laughs> it's amazing. Yes. I love that. I love that face. I... Yep, that's totally a face that says, <laughs> Bravo! I applaud you on your stupidity! Dance, monkey, dance! <laughs> <laughs> it's the 
that's the end of the match, of course. Yeah. I'm gonna learn this timeline! Hmm. I wonder what I would have looked like if I was in a clown suit. Don't leave the zany Discord let Equestria. They have chocolate milk, Twilight. Think of the chocolate milk. Yes. This is the face of somebody who just helped the little filly get the respect of her classmates by helping her through an obstacle course. <laughs> How can she be so twisted? What? Are you serious? When were Flim and Flam actual villains? I mean, they were con men, and as much as I hated them as Super Speedy said to squeeze the 6,000, how the fuck are they gonna terrain over Tyrick, Chrysalis, Nightmare Moon, and anybody else I can't think of at the top of my head? Summer. I would go into that point, but I'm more impressed with how fast you said Super Speedy Center squeezy 6,000 and not slip up on it. Wait a minute. <laughs> the future where Flim and Flam. Oh, Super speedy setters in the middle. I can't do it. Super speedy in the Super speedy setters. Super speedy Super speedy setters. 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 Super speedy and now, because I'm pretty sure nobody has made this joke yet. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But seriously, after all this back and forth time paradox nonsense, there's just simply one question that I need to ask. What's that? What about Winona? <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> and yeah, whatever happened there. If it there. takes to keep you and your friends from getting your cutie mark connection, then I'm game. This isn't just about destroying Twilight. It's about just tormenting her. Just completely ruining her life. Next, I suppose you'll tell me that the fate of all the Questria hangs in the balance. Spare me your overblown ego. No group of friends, not even Princess Twilight, is that important. To Spare her her overblown ego? Get yourself in the mirror, lady. <laughs> Here, from Starlight's perspective, it does sound like Twilight just has a really big ego. Like, yeah. oh, the entire universe revolves around me and my friends. I mean, yes, it does, but that's what happens when you're the protagonist. Congratulations to the show for this level of self-awareness that they are like, yes, we know it sounds a little ridiculous, but that's how it is, so, yeah. Please, somebody. Well, they did it. They made Fallout Equestria canon. Yep. <laughs> kind of, sort of, not really, I don't know. What it would have been fun? funny. Uh, I made this point. Uh, if uh, tell me if I, in the comments I've made this point in another video, it would have been so funny to if they had this little Pip's head peek out from behind a rock just for like um two seconds, just like and like look around and go back. Austria, where everything was consumed by Paris brights. Yay! Wait, didn't that happen in Fallout in Austria? No, that was a nuke. You know. I didn't read it. <laughs> so, final future scene quite possibly is the grimmest that My Little Pony has ever gotten in the entirety of their show. I mean, it's basically suggesting that everyone and everything is dead. Back where everything is Wait, considering that the Flim Flam was the last one, even after Discord and Nightmare Moon and changes and everything. Are you kidding me? I don't know why my friends and I are so important to Equestria. A. Celestia is a pacifist that avoids conflict. B. Celestia forced you to make friends against your will. C. Because of B. C. Because of B, you became new element of magic. D. Celestia constantly relies on you alone to fix everything in the state of, na of a national crisis. E. Celestia is morally sound but lacking practically, and always gets defeated. F, you're the only princess that actually does anything. C, you're the show's main character, so you're pretty much required to do by, by story a lot of save the, to always save the day. 
Fan fiction reader, everybody. <laughs> You really gotta wonder what happened to create this future. I mean, this wasn't Nightmare Moon, this wasn't T Rex, this wasn't Discord, this wasn't Sombra, this wasn't Flimmin. Yeah. Hey, you're here. Okay, I'm making a video right now, Dad. Hey, come on. Uh, can I finish my video? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. Maybe this is the Trixie future. Yes. I know I can't stop you. <laughs> uh, Twilight, you do realize you have an ample opportunity right now to, I don't know, snap her neck or beat the shit out of her, like, 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 right this yeah. instant. <laughs> I mean, Starlight's not really doing anything. She's just staring out into space. Yep. Wait, mm -hmm. what if Starlight's expecting that? I, I mean, she is always one step ahead and could easily counter She's it or just something. Stay up ahead. I mean, wow. <laughs> a simple unicorn is on par with an all powerful, all magical element of magic god mod alicorn princess. God mod. What are you? <laughs> I'm just a pretty little girl. I was perfectly happy before you and your friends ruined what I built! Yeah, you being perfectly happy meant to brainwash. Uh, Two dozen other ponies into your puppets. You wanna know what's happened to me? I'll show you. Prepare for villainous backstory. Yay. Sunburst and I did everything together. Sunburst looks like an OC. I don't remember us ever being apart until today. This is why playing Jenga with a stack of books is a bad idea. Yeah. Man, I hope I get my <laughs> save my friend from certain death and organized a bookshelf cutie mark. And just like that, my friend was gone. His family recognized his magical talent and sent him off to Canterlot. I never saw him again. Well, why not? Because of his cutie mark. He got his, and I didn't. He moved on, and I didn't! Really? <laughs> So, she's Moon Dancer. <laughs> Mildly more sociopathic. To be fair, if he kind of just straight up abandoned you after moving, that's not really the cutie mark's fault. You kind of just had a really crappy friend. Yeah. Many people wonder what Sunburst cutie mark means. But I know what it means. It means being a douchebag and never writing back to your friends but, and cause them immense childhood trauma that they will use to become a supervillain. Yes. <laughs> Fuck you, Sunburst. All you need to do is write a letter. You are the worst villain of the show. Yep. <laughs> and I don't like your OC design either. It's too saturated and spotty. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say she was exaggerating, but remember Twist? Got her cutie mark? Apple Bloom never saw her again. I stayed yep. here and never made another friend because I was too afraid another cutie mark would take them away too! And nobody even bothered talking to Starlight Glimmer to get her out of her shell. My Little Pony, friendship is bullshit. Yeah. Not every pony is lucky enough to get her cutie mark at the same time as her friend. But then you could also be the CMC, who are apparently quite lucky in that regard. Yeah, yes. good point. That was pretty much why I asked for uh, the CMC not getting the cutie mark at the same time, because there was a potential for a lot of interesting stories there. I know this sounds really contrived, but think about how much sense it would make if her friend had actually been Sunset. I mean, not only is there... Would the parallel between the two actually kind of make a little bit of sense? Yeah. Seriously, we all know she could have just written to her friends, but if it had been Sunset, it would have made sense because Sunset became completely self-absorbed into magic. And I destroy this school. There'll be no way for you to change it! Okay, unless the scroll is made- Hold on, you guys. I gotta go get, I gotta go get my dinner. I'm gonna bring it up here and I'm gonna eat it while I'm watching the video.
Sorry that it sorry that it took so long guys. I had to heat up my food. Alright. Now that my food's heated up, let me get a water first. All right, now we can get back to the reaction. Sorry, guys. What kind of hard ripping material? You're taking your sweet ass time ripping that scroll apart. She yeah. Say she's relishing in it. Pretty much. <laughs> Ketchup and mustard. Yeah. Yeah. Once I destroy this scroll, you'll never be able to stop me. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Uh, why are you tearing at that thing so slowly when you could have done that in a millisecond and instantly win? Because I can. <laughs> what Actually, is now that I think about it, why did you leave the scroll behind in the first place when you first did the spell? Because you've given me an opportunity to follow you and possibly stop you. No. <laughs> kind of given me ample opportunities here. I mean, your methods kind of don't make any goddamn sense. True. I mean, you really have no reason to be taking this long, yet I don't even know why I'm standing here and not taking immediate action, because you're basically standing around doing nothing. <laughs> so try again. Make new friends. And if something that you can't control well, happens that changes things, work through it together. That's what friendship is. Oh, don't redeem her. She's such a good villain. Yeah, She's she so was. good at being evil. <sighs> Yet another great antagonist ruined by friendship. <laughs> Just remember, we could have had a Luna future, but no. That's darling. Shh. Mickey is talking. Let's be pretty <laughs> magical. She obviously has okay. more talent for magic than almost any pony I've seen. Good point, now that you say it. I mean, yeah. she holds herself against an Elicorn, which happened yeah. to be the element of magic and has a special talent for magic. I mean, exactly. how freaking strong is Starlight? Maybe she even has more talent than you, Twilight. I think we've actually found our real main character here. Well, there you have it. We now have a seventh member of the main six click. Yay. And it's not Sunset Shimmer. What? 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 Why? <laughs> yes. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, no! Hell no! This girl thinks she can just come in and take my place? Oh great, Starlight Glimmer gets a reformed villain song. I mean, Sunset Shimmer had to wait two whole movies to get one of those. No, no, you just take yours right now. Good job. You've been reformed for what? Five minutes? Kiss! 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 Okay, I don't want to know what kind of book Twilight's reading that gave her that face. Yeah, this part is going to get a lot of hate. Awesome, it's Double Diamond. I don't care what the Phantom says, I love Double Diamond, he's adorable. Oh yeah, we'll totally forgive you and be your friend, even though you brainwashed us and other innocent citizens to join your equal church of wrong. Yep. You're talking about nobody said that. <laughs> We're all lesbians. Oh, look at those bedroom eyes Octavia's making for vinyl. I mean, like, you went to the dentist recently, yeah. Nice, probably wife's there. I almost feel like hi, girls, guys. How you doing? I see you, Derpy. Vinyl, Octavia. Hey, am I the only Barney who didn't find this incredibly creepy? I thought their whole entire faces were saying thank you. Looking at me like that? This is like really creepy. Come back to cute shot in three, two, one. What did I just watch? The finale of season five. 
They certainly left the fabric of space and time with more holes than Swiss cheese. But gosh darn it, I think it was worth it for a shotgun blast of all the best villains that we've had. This was yeah. a fantastic end to a really fantastic season five, honestly. I hope yeah. that the writers and the animators continue to improve over the next few seasons even still. But it's hard to imagine how much better they can get at this point, isn't it? Yeah, man. So what did you think about the finale, babe? I was kind of underwhelmed, but I'm actually glad that the uh, staff managed to do something pretty different compared to the other What's finale. What's that face that you're making? if everything is all just mindless action like Twilight's Kingdom or Cantalot Wedding, it would have not have resulted in trying anything new. It's kind of confusing and lackluster for me. Yeah, it was okay, but you know what was really great about this? Pinkie Pie. Overall, I have to say it was very well done. Uh, she only got two scenes, so... It has a few issues, like with the time loops who are supposedly becoming worse over time. I'll admit, the first time I watched it, I kind of sort of hated it because I thought most of it made no sense. And I'll be honest, I don't really like time travel episodes of any media. Uh, you know what would have made this even better? I understand. Me. Flash Century. Man, that guy, he is just so necessary and it adds so much to the story. Uh, I personally you made me, think this you is made my me favorite hit my finale tied with um, Best Night Ever. I really enjoyed all the different interpretations of the timelines because time travel stories are immensely hard to do. I think I agree. Starlight is still my favorite villain and yeah, I mean, come on. The backstory and everything is pretty much the same amount of time we were given for Moondancer and Sunset Shimmer. And we're going to have a whole season for Starlight to reform, just like we had two movies. So yeah, the middle part was a little bit the back and forth between the alternate futures and uh, the fighting between Twilight and Glimmer. Was interesting, it wasn't boring, but nothing plot-wise really happened in that time. Uh, yeah. Until really Twilight was uh, desperate enough in the very end to be like, I don't want to fight anymore. It doesn't have any sense, but I will try and try again for all eternity. I'll, I'll be honest, I thought Starlight's motives were a bit too childish for me to believe. Yeah. I mean, the way I saw it, it was pretty much the equivalent of, I don't like change! Everything has to be the same! I mean, I understand what Josh Haber was going for, and... It never really hit me until, like, you know, second or third viewing. Okay, seriously, I really enjoyed this. It's Time Devil Paradoxes, hole. Luna being duped easily, yet another reformed villain. Nick picks a side, I genuinely really enjoyed this. But you know what, all in all, great season finale. Love the alternate timelines. Love the wacky new take on everything. I like the fact that some unicorn finally figured out, hey, I can use telekinesis to fly. Telekinesis. That one laser fight was pretty sweet. Sunset and uh, Twilight having the back and forth in the future, which was fun to look at, I will be honest. And then we got another alternate uh, future or present or whatever. And on itself, the alternate futures were all very amazing. Even the ones we only got to see for a second or something. Yeah. They all were pretty great and interesting. And uh, I believe there has already been a tweet by one of the producers like, I suspect there will be a lot more uh, fan fictions coming in soon. And yes, pretty much. I mean, each of those alternative futures, maybe except the first one, since it pretty much follows the quest here, has potential for so many new fiction. Pretty much every single one of those alternate timelines was great. Crimdark War Future, Changeling Future, the official Lunar Republic, all freaking awesome. Different yeah. kind of types of timelines that were throughout the uh, the finale. This kind of encourages new um, fanfic ideas for people to come up with. Oh, oh, oh yeah. 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 It, these are very fun little like different alternative timelines, like the Sombra War, the Jungle, uh, the overall reign of... Um, uh, nightmare Night. Nightmare Move. Why do I get Nightmare Night and Nightmare Move? She's a little crazy. This is definitely an overreaction. Don't get me wrong, but it's really cool that we have this illumination into her character. Excuse me. Again, this is what makes a good villain. You have that backstory. You have that motivation. You have that intelligence. You have that power. You rival the protagonist. This is a good rival. Maybe 
even better than Sunset. Yeah. I'd say the biggest problem I have with the episode is Starlight Glimmer just not living up to her potential. I mean, the lady has a legitimate point. Life's not fair. Why not, you know, equalize the playing field? Night by Moon, it was, uh, uh, even it was magic away, which is not really a good redemption. But this redemption was actually uh, one of the better ones, like mm -hmm. with uh, a Diamond Tiara. Yes, this is very much like a Sunset Shimmer's heel face turn, or however you want to say it. Reformation. This one actually feels a little more natural. I can't exactly put my finger on why. Maybe it's because we kind of had a little bit more of Starlight, you know, with the uh, first episode of the season. So she had a technically a little more time than Sunset had. No, she's just mad because her buddy got his cutie mark and then left. And it made her feel bad. And I just hate the concept of cutie marks. Mm -hmm. uh, so close to being absolutely fantastic. And... By the way, I want to add something. People complaining about the backstory of Starlight Glimmer that, oh, she lost a friend and such. She was a kid. And she took it very hard and it was pretty traumatizing. Yeah. Childhood trauma is something very hard to deal with, especially if you don't try to yeah. take care of it. That's why, you know. I've been through childhood trauma a few times. Very hard to get out of, but... Today. You know, an adult should have spoken to Starlight when she was still a Philly. It, it was kind of nice to see all the old villains returning in. You know, yeah. I did enjoy the Good. spectacle of it. Right down memory. But uh, for me, I think this is probably the weakest of all the season finales. This was probably one of the best finales. <laughs> that one of the best two parters <laughs> I think, the show's ever done. I think we Bill... pretty much got to see everybody. Back. Um, I think Will is going to be the only one who says that this was the worst season finale. Even so, yeah, I, I simply assume the last future, the one where, old, where it was all one big wasteland, was probably the one where Trixie won. Yes. I would have thought a cool thing would be that the main six members in the alternate timelines never got their cutie marks or got different ones. Yeah, you start to notice that. Because it's just like, it makes you wonder, how did they get it if the rain boom never happened? Like, what was the situation that caused it? I wish they went a little bit into that, but I know obvious time things. But either way, this... This season entirely, with all the new things that they closed, this se the season finale with Starlight opened so many new things up, and I'm excited for season six. You know, for so a season I. I was kind of coming, lukewarm about all the way Coming March 26th, the day before Easter. Ooh, except for a few episodes, give or take. I'm actually give and take. incredibly excited for season six now. Yeah, good season finale. This is good stuff. But does this mean that Starlight Glimmer is now in the main six? So is that like the main seven? Is it the main eight if we count Sunset? Or is Starlight going to go off and start her own team with uh, all those other guys from her village? Hope so. Know. Might be a good sequel. Josh Haber improved a lot this season. Yeah. With friendship oh games. Oh With friendship games and gloom and gloom and stuff. <laughs> this is my favorite Josh Haber episode. Just like Cutie Map is my favorite. Um, Sun? Sun and Warren episode. Yeah. I think both writers have improved. Scott Sonneborn is lost in his pen name. Sleeps in season four, and I can't wait for what they do in season six. Yep. Oh, oh, that's so cute. I love that. That's cute. <sighs> that was that. Only thing left to do is changing back to my normal appearance. So here we go. Yes. And. Don't worry, I will not do another one of those girly transformations. I'm done with those. <laughs> I'm going for the manliest transformation ever seen on screen. And what could be manlier than He-Man? So here we go. By the power of analysis. <laughs> Okay, okay. Half naked! Who went in the kids' show? Oh my god. That was the greatest thing ever.
Oh my gosh, that was the greatest thing. <laughs> that was the greatest thing. Oh man. That was a really good video. Uh, Solspex did a great job um, combining it all together. And I really do love these analyst ponies react. Me being a analyst myself, um, I just really do enjoy these. But yeah, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Of course, I'll put the link to Selspex's channel and the link to this video inside of the description in case you guys want to go watch it for yourselves. But anyway, I am Carson Bobo, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to keep coming for on, and bye, guys.